Today I'm going to talk about antique fairs. That's how I would classify both round top and brim field. So there are other antique fairs in this country, but round top and brim field are by far the best. I'll tell you a little about each of them. I've been going to Brimfield for many years. How I ever got to be there, I'll never know. It's a town of about 200 that's about uh, 50 miles from Hartford, Connecticut and 50 miles from Boston. Middle of nowhere. Anyway, in this little tiny speck of a town, three times a year in May, July and September, 6,000 uh, antique dealers spread over 21 shows for a week meet with what has to be several hundred thousand customers and um, it's quite an experience. The shows uh, are spread out over the week. Some run for three days, some run for seven days. My typical schedule there is up at four in the morning, on the road by quarter to five, to the gate at quarter to six, and to the first show at 6 a.m., then see that show, get to the next show about 8.30, Gates open at 9, visit the show for several hours, next show opens at noon, and then um, uh, get there at 11.30 and, and you know, check out the show maybe till 3 or 4 in the afternoon. And the, the weather is something else. I only go to the May show. I've heard that it's by far the strongest show, the best I think the best merchandise would be there because um, there's not as much time for the dealers to um, recoup their merchandise between um, May and July as there was is between the September show and the May show. Anyway, the weather is something else. It always seems to rain during Brimfield week. I usually dress in a heavy jacket a hat, long pants in the morning, and then by the afternoon, often scrape the, the frost on the windshield also. By the afternoon, the hat is gone, the coat is gone. I'm, I use these zip-off pants so that I take the legs of the pants off, I'm wearing shorts, and I usually get a horrific sunburn by the end of the, the show. So it's, it's, the weather is crazy. The, um, it's a giant treasure hunt there, and every year you hear about something great that people find. You know, this last year, someone wandering around the fields at two in the afternoon after, you know, 20,000 people had gone by this booth, found a, a painting for a couple hundred bucks that he sold for a quarter million. Every year you hear stories about that. And Brimfield has true antiques. There's, there's no socks, there's no new merchandise, there's no brand new toys, there's no crafts. It's really good old stuff. You know, there, in the good old stuff, there's plenty of junk, believe me, but uh, it, it generally is good old stuff. And uh, the show seems to be doing just fine Crowds are just as eager now as they were 20 years ago. The show has been run for 50 years now. Okay, now I'll talk about Round, round Top. Round Top is the other great, what I would call, antique fair. It's about the same idea. The show is about 80 miles from Houston and about 80 miles from Austin. And in this case, the town is even smaller. 
I read in one place that it was 77 people, but the sign in the city says it's um, all of 81. Anyway, there, Brimfield has 21 separate shows with about, with several, a few hundred dealers per show. Round Top is growing. It, every year it's got more shows. I think, now it's got about 25 shows, and where Brimfield is one mile long, Round Top is probably more like seven or eight miles from end to end. So bigger geographical area, and many new shows, where Brimfield hasn't had a new show in a very long time. I would say that the crowds are not as big or, or as enthusiastic at Round Top, crowds are substantial. Also at Round Top, the, um, they're not as strict about the merchandise. So you will find uh, shows with lots of crafts, with lots of new merchandise. The parking is easier, the, um, but the, the real true antiques and the, um, the treasures that you can find uh, don't really compare to Brimfield, even though many dealers do both shows. And uh, the, the number of dealers at the two shows is roughly equal. One neat thing that I discovered in Roundtop is a neat little restaurant called Royster's. It's, um, the guy has good food. It's, um, has some French cuisine, has great pies, and has, um, nice, um, 1960s, 70s rock and roll music all the time. And place is always packed. And, uh, a nice little thing, you always have to wait there. But while you're waiting, they've got this, um, old time cooler out front that's stocked with soda and beer and wine coolers and uh, there's no charge and you can just reach in there and, and have what you want. Uh, it's a neat little place and both shows are a, a, a good experience.